What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. Monday, February 27th, Governor Andy Bashir and local officials broke ground on the first home to be partially funded by the Team Eastern Kentucky Flood Relief Fund. Lifelong Letcher County resident Rula Adams and his wife Nancy will reside in the new home with their son Donnie. Now, this is an incredibly special day. Uh, people lost everything in this flooding. Most importantly, their home. It's a place we feel safe. It's a place that we make our memories uh, with our families. And for uh, a couple that had lived here their entire lives, it meant having to move for a period of time. Breaking ground today is about repairing their lives, uh, rebuilding this region, and it's incredibly special. This is gonna be the toughest rebuild in the history of the United States, but you know what? It's gonna happen home by home, lot by lot. So today, I hope, is a beacon of hope for everybody else out there that is waiting, that we will not stop, we will not rest until we rebuild everything. The Adams will receive a new home on higher land to prevent future flooding and the construction is scheduled to begin next week. I followed like a single like straight his whole life here. It's been at awesome by where he lived three to five years. We saw those before but not anything like this. Could get in the house totally the roof washed away. Everything in the house fell off for all the wide scenes. They sat on the barn steps for five hours you water up to me in the ice. It would have been any time toward the winter. I don't think that we look at it all. So, yeah, this means every time to get them on higher ground, out of the flood plain, it means a lot. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.